Welcome to another episode of Mighty Carmel. It's proudly brought to you by Just Car Insurance. Now, we just got an email from Adam Grazelowski, and he said, Dear Mighty Carmel, can you show me how to put an aftermarket steering wheel on my car? Yes, we can, Adam. Yes, we can. Today we're working on the Mighty Car Mods Honda Civic, which is in desperate need of a new steering wheel. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. You can use that to peel off Marty's pants or peel off things that you need from the car. Uh, you're gonna need a socket. You're gonna need a boss kit. This is the item that adapts your steering column to fit with your aftermarket steering wheel. And lastly, of course, you need the aftermarket steering wheel. This was from eBay, it was $20. And look at this. It's gonna be amazing for our Honda. It's Type R. This was 20 bucks. This was $20. $40 steering wheel mod, Mighty Car Mod style. Rake loves it! The first thing to do is find the horn fuse and then remove it. We're taking out the fuse for the horn because otherwise it's going to make a whole lot of noise when you're changing your steering wheel. Interestingly on this Honda, the fuse for the horn is also the brake lights. So if your horn fuse goes, your brake lights don't work either. It's crazy and Rake loves it! Leave the fuse in a safe place, then jack up your car and grab your screwdriver. Next you've got to remove the old steering wheel. Get the covers off with a screwdriver so you can get access to the steering column nut. It's important to make sure your wheels are centred and check where the stock steering wheel sits. You can use the steering lock built into most cars to help you loosen the nut. Now there's a 19mm nut holding our steering wheel onto the steering column and like Moog said you can use a socket or if you're stuck in the desert and it's a day before race wars and you want a mad steering wheel then you can use your wheel brace. Undo the nut but leave it on the end of the column. This is to stop your face being rearranged when it finally comes loose. Centre your wheels again and then start pulling. Then start pulling on the steering wheel, they can sometimes be a little stubborn. the old wheel to someone in need and then grab your boss kit. The boss kit adapts the spline of the steering column to a standard six bolt setup used by most aftermarket wheels. The boss kit should have an alignment marker on it to show you which way's up. Thanks mate. Okay, so the boss kit's on. The next thing to do is connect the wiring to the back of the new horn, then make sure that it's aligned right at the top, screw it in, and it's gonna be mad. Isn't it, Rake? Yes. With everything on tight, chuck your fuse in, then check your horn and make sure all of the controls are working exactly as they should. So that is a $40 mod and has completely updated the look of the car. And guess what? Rake loves it! We've gone from this to this. The smaller wheel looks heaps better and is definitely more hygienic than the old one. This is a cheap and easy mod and the last thing to do of course is to test it out. There's going to be lots more videos coming up, including the build of the Civic, real soon. Exactly, it's going to be rad. So until then, keep your eyes on the Mighty Car Mods forum, which you can find at MightyCarMods.com. There's thousands of people just like you and me exploring each other and their ideas. <laughs>
I believe that last night when I was sleeping, Flurpy found me and his ear has not been the same since.